Hey there, I'm Jen, the board game librarian, and today we are at Front Porch Brewing to talk about our favorite games to play at a brewery. I'm joined with my husband, Matt, behind the camera, and our friends. <laughs> I'm Emily, and this is Mike. Um, you can find us on Instagram at Board Game Dog with our beautiful husky, Hawkeye. And together we are four board gamers. So we play a lot of games at breweries, at least the two of us. How about you guys? We do a lot of breweries and we Wait. do a lot of gaming. There you go. Yeah, it's a place we find ourselves at more often than not, <laughs> I think. Yes. Um, we've done a couple of brewery game nights together yep. with a lot more people, top yep. people. Um, what's your favorite brewery to play at, though? Kinsman's probably been the best one we've been to just because of the table space. Yeah, Kinsman's great. They have food, so much table space. Like, it's a whole hall that you can play at. Yeah. Uh, this is one of our favorite kind of small breweries in Connecticut. Um, Front Porch is an experimental brewing company. And thank you for allowing us to film here today. So with that, we are going to show you our favorite game to play at a brewery coming up next. So I'm here to talk about my favorite game to play at a brewery. If you don't know who I am, I'm usually the guy behind the camera. I'm Matt, Jen's husband, also known as the Dice Trucker on Instagram, and I've chosen to casually lean against this barrel, and I don't know why. So my favorite game to bring to a brewery as of late has been Gonshon Clever. And the reason I like this roll and write that's kind of taken the world by storm is because someone's the active player and everyone else is the passive player. And you go into breweries to connect with people, to talk with your friends that you haven't seen in a while. And so this is a great one that you may not have to pay attention completely the whole time, and you can just chat. And it's really uh, addicting because you want to get that high score. Uh, this is published by Schmidt and Stronghold Games. And like I said, that's my favorite game to bring to a brewery. Hello, this is Mike, and my favorite game to play at a brewery is Cockroach Poker, or Cockroach Poker Royale, which is basically the same thing. I love Cockroach Poker because it's fast, it's simple, it plays to a variety of people, and since you're at a brewery, you're going to be drinking, and this is a game that always brings laughter to the table no matter what you do. Whether you're honest, whether you're lying, whether you choose to pass the card to the person who you know knows you tell, everyone is going to be having a great time. It's also simple, plays in about 15 minutes, it does not have a lot of table space, all of your cards can stay in your hand so you don't have to worry about any spillage, and it's just a great time that I've never had fail at a brewery. Hi, I'm Emily. Uh, my favorite bar game is definitely Skull. Uh, super old bar game, previously known as Skull and Roses. Um, so simple, easy bluffing game. Um, everyone has these coasters. Three have a flower, one has a skull, and each player has their own set. And you go around basically betting um, to how many coasters that you can flip over before revealing a skull. If you reveal a skull, then you bust and one of these randomly gets taken away from you. Um, it's a really, really fun game. Um, the first person to guess correctly in how many coasters that they can flip over uh, twice wins, which is super, super actually really hard to do. Uh, super fun, the whole table gets crazy, um, lots of laughing, everyone has fun, and it's only these four coasters, so it's super easy. Um, that's my favorite game, pick it up. Anyone who knows me personally knows I am a stacking queen, and Rhino Hero speaks my language. It's one that I say you can teach to a five-year-old or to a grandma. You, you wouldn't necessarily teach it to a five-year-old in a brewery, but this is one that doesn't take up a lot of table space and doesn't require a huge skill level either. I think it's super fun um, trying to build it as high as you can. So on a brewery table too, they can get pretty high. Um, and when it collapses, everyone just laughs and has a good time, almost like Jenga. Um, Reno Hero, my favorite game to bring to a brewery.